I've been on this new frame kick for a while. I've been flying mostly 250 size quadcopters, and then here just not too long ago I built this Q200, and I got a uh, review coming of it pretty soon. I'm just waiting on the FPV camera to go up here on the front. Anyway, this is a 200 size, and today in the mail I got this from Banggood. It's the uh, Diatone Blade 150, and this is a fiberglass with a built-in power distribution board in it. But it is hilarious that this comes in this little small package and all the pieces are inside here. I'm used to stuff more like this FPV 250, you know, where it comes in a big bag and you gotta tear it apart and it takes forever to put it together. But anyway, I have this now, the, uh, the Blade 150 from Diatone. I'll go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at it. So here's the kit all spread out. You got the main uh, plate here with the power distribution board built into it. The upper plate, the arms, and boy, these arms just look so small. But it does have the four holes out here, so you can mount like a 1306 motor or maybe a um, smaller one if you have access to those. Uh, it also comes with the little card introducing the Blade 150. Looks like this. And it says Diatone Innovations. Also, you get a little packet of screws, a little packet of washers, and the spacers for the upper and lower plate, I would assume. Let's get some measurements off this board. This is the main board. It's coming in about 1.32 millimeters. The upper plate, this one feels thin, 0.71 millimeters. And the arms are 1.84, and I'll measure all these just to see if they're all consistently the same. 1.83, uh, 1.76, let's start over here. There we go, 1.79. <laughs> Uh, and this one comes in 1.79 also. Good, no, not too bad. Here's one of the screws that's included with this. And I was gonna see if I can get some measurements off of this just to see how small these are. 7.22 millimeters, and the diameter of this thing is 1.91, millimeters. So here's the frame, it's partially assembled. This up here where the DTI is, this is the front of the frame, and this is where you'd solder on your ESCs. Back here on the back, this is the uh, where you solder on your power or your battery cables onto here and your ESCs. And you can see here it says it supports 1S to 3S, so you can run 3S batteries on this. Anyway, these screws here in the middle, these screws go down through the frame and through the arms, and then you have the little nuts on the bottom to tighten them up. And then these screws here go from the bottom up to these um, spacers here and these spa spacers are actually made of metal. Here's the frame fully assembled. It was a little difficult putting it together simply because these screws are just so small. In fact I dropped one of them and I can't find it so luckily it came with three extras. Well here I have my scale set out. I'm gonna go ahead and zero this out and we'll get this weighed and here it goes. Comes in about 32.0 grams and you can't see that very well. There we go. 32.0 grams, it's pretty light compared to some other stuff. To give you some idea of how small this is, this is a five by three prop. And if you center it over where the motor mount would be, it's, it's going, it's, there's no way that you're gonna be running these on here. You would be uh, smacking up against the motor mount here for sure. And here's a four inch propeller. And again, you have the same problem with it. The motor is going, the propellers would uh, smash up against this. Now you could flip this over and you could probably run uh, four inch propellers on the bottom side, oops, bottom side with no problem. But if you run these five inch propellers, you'd be cutting it real close because it looks like, there it's kind of centered. And you can see it's overlapping the middle a little bit. So if you had your two five inch propellers on here, you're gonna be smacking your propellers together. Like I said, the four inch ones would be no problem if you ran, if you ran this upside down. But anyway, that's just to give you some idea on the size. So here's my ZMR 250, and this is the Blade 150. And you can see it is significantly smaller than the 250. Some people have asked me, why would I want to fly a 150 instead of a 250? Or more realistically, they've been asking me about, you know, why would you want to fly a 200 instead of a 250? And the answer is because they're slower, and uh, because they're slower, you can fly them indoors a little easier without, you know, zipping clear across the room in less than half a second with the ZMR 250. These will take a few seconds to get across the gymnasium, you know, to the other wall. And also, if somebody gets hit with this, it's a lot less damaging to a person than something with four inch or six inch propellers spinning around on it. 
you know, three inch propellers are gonna hurt, but they're not, hopefully not gonna cut you up too bad. Here's the Q200, and on here I'm running these 1306 motors from DYS. And if I line up these carbon fiber plates, you can see that the propeller is not above the upper plate on this uh, Blade 150 frame. So if you wanted to run four inch propellers on with this side up, you'd have to put some kind of spacer in here to raise the propeller up a little bit more to clear the uh, top plate. Like I said, if you run if you run it upside down or flat upside down, you wouldn't have that same problem because it would clear them just fine. So with this 150, I'm going to be putting on some DYS 1306 motors on it. And since I can't find the three inch propellers yet, they're not popular enough. I'm going to be taking some of my four inch propellers and cutting them down to three inches, so they're going to be somewhat bull nosed out on the end. But you know, that's just the way it goes. Hopefully, with this being lighter, uh, it will fly up for you know hopefully 10 minutes or so is kind of what I'm hoping for and I'm probably going to start with 2s batteries and then go up to 3s so anyway if you have any questions about this frame let me know in the comments and also I'll have some links to it down in the description below and uh, hopefully I'll get this thing built and get a review of it done and get some flying footage of it within the next couple of weeks my projects are kind of building up but thanks for watching